A lot of people think that the only approach to conservation is setting aside land, pristine habitat that has to be set aside for many human use. And we do need places like that. But conservation isn't so limited. My students and I have been studying birds in shade coffee systems in the Northern Andes for about 10 years. One of the things that always strikes me the most when I'm working down here is how connected we are. We know the birds, of course, are connected. They're breeding up in North America. They're wintering down here. But I'm also struck by the connectivity of the people. The choices that we're making about the coffee we buy are directly affecting the livelihoods of people here in the Andes. Many of the places where we work are what we would call working landscapes. And they're also areas where we have really high biodiversity. That confluence of landscapes where people need to make a living, they're relying on their land for their livelihoods, makes it really important that we find ways to both meet the needs of the communities and conserve. Shade coffee is one system where what we want to see happen for conservation can be beneficial to the growers from an economic standpoint. One of the ways that farmers can distinguish themselves and differentiate their product from others is by showing that they have a lot of trees on the landscape and that their farm is contributing to conservation. And so by engaging in those conservation practices, they might actually be able to get a higher price for their coffee in the end. The shade coffee plantations can provide really good foraging habitat for migratory and resident birds. The richer the shade coffee farm is in terms of different kinds of trees that are planted, the better the foraging habitat for birds. Shade coffee is good for the birds, we know that, but birds are also good for the coffee because birds eat the insects that are eating the coffee plants. And so coffee can actually produce more berries when the birds are there controlling those insects. Whether it's the people or the birds, the environment, the economy, or perhaps you just want a really good tasting cup of coffee. Shade coffee is where all of these things point to. Sustainability is a word that we use a lot these days. It can mean a lot of different things. In the case of shade coffee, we can think about it as touching sustainability from multiple directions. Shade coffee is more sustainable for biodiversity because of the habitat it's providing. It's more sustainable for the broader environment because it's helping to prevent landslides, it's protecting water quality, and it's also sustainable if we think about communities because it's helping them to hopefully get better prices for the coffee they produce. In order to understand what the outcomes of different coffee management decisions are, we're working with partners and organizations from people who are good at knowing the quality of the beans to economists, biologists, educators, social scientists. So there's a really wide group that are participating in this project. You can, by careful management, have land that's being used in a profitable way, in a way that's legitimately supporting the needs of people and also contributing to conservation. <laughs>